Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Arena. Nice to have you. So today I'm starting a video called getting a port place. It's like a long-term IV that's in your heart. Um, and then you just kind of stick it with a needle whenever you need it. Um, <laughs> so I'm getting one of those tomorrow. Um, and I just wanted to film a video of like the whole process and like the week after like the recovery process because I <laughs> am stressed and I don't know what that's gonna look like um, and I think that might be helpful to somebody else also getting a port um, if you're getting a port yourself you got this we got this today I am feeling nervous but also kind of in denial <laughs> I'm not like really sure that it's happening yet um, so every day I'll just kind of update you <laughs> I hope this is helpful. I will see y'all tomorrow, the day of heading there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a big adventure. <laughs> so stay tuned for all of that. <laughs> not the next day um but i figured i would just take y'all along for what i'm doing the night before to like get ready and prepare myself <laughs> doing like a little hair mask and watching youtube in the bathtub classic um but yeah i'll do a little montage <laughs> picking up at 11 so just going to collect all of my things take care of my dog make myself look a little bit presentable um and then just kind of go from there oh here's my pick line skirt and the scarf from the dressing <laughs> yeah here's another hack that i learned and that is to wear like a zip up hoodie or like a button up shirt something that just closes all the way up in the front that you can like put on like a jacket um just in case your arm is sore and you don't want to like lift it to get a t-shirt on um so i'm gonna grab mine i'm wearing <laughs> i actually got this from new york <laughs> it's so touristy <laughs> it's ginormous too and bonus mask but yeah here's the fit we're just going for comfort we're not looking cute today <laughs> Um, and then I'm also gonna finish the rest of my laundry, so I don't have to do it when I get back. <laughs> Okay, I also need to change out my Dexcom, um, which is a blood sugar monitor. Um, because it expired or like died yesterday, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Here she is, my queen, my bestie girl. We love her. Um, there should be no blood involved, so if you are squeamish, you should be okay. But I do have to stab myself. I'm so ashy. <gasps> no, this is so bad. Open that. Um, take off the back sticker. I'll show you guys. And then this is the little code that I used to start it. Um, okay. And then you just place it. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. You take off the safety, that little orange thing, and then stab -aroni. Um, how are we feeling? I 
feel like you're more stressed than anything, but <laughs> I am very stressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it should be any minute now. Yay. And then they'll go back and then next time you see me, I'll have um, a brand new friend with me forever. Okay, it is very dark because it is I really can't talk right now. This is so bad. Um it's dark because it is nighttime and it is much later than the last time you saw me. Um, but I'll just kind of walk you through the last little bit, um, since you last saw me. Um, so I went back and um we talked to the doctor a little bit about kind of the light sedation procedure, kind of I have kind of some weird medication reactions. Um, so we kind of switched that up just to make sure everything would be good. Um, and he was really nice and understanding about it all, um, which was really nice. Um, and so basically I was pretty much awake the whole time, but I didn't feel anything. Uh, it was all numbed up and the nurses were super, super nice. And honestly, it went really, really well. Um, the procedure um, was really smooth. It wasn't in discomfort at all. Um, it was honestly so easy, <laughs> which is so good. Um, I did have some issues with my blood sugar during. Um, it dropped pretty low, like in the 40s. Um, and it was pretty stubborn and it wouldn't come up. Um, so we had some dextrose and stuff. Um, and then kind of right as the procedure ended, um, I kind of, we're not really sure if it was a mix of like the drugs that I had and the blood sugar, but I got pretty <laughs> sick, um, throwing up blood pressures all over the place, um, just not good. <laughs> Apparently I was like green, um, and that kind of lasted a pretty long time, and my blood sugar was also still being very stubborn and staying really low. Um, it was really hard to get it back up because, um, I couldn't keep anything down, <laughs> um, so that was not fun. Um, so they usually keep you in the recovery area for about an hour after the procedure. Um, I ended up staying for about two and a half. <laughs> Just one of those things. Um, but got in the car eventually um, once my blood sugar had risen um, and was able to be driven home by my good friend. Um, so thank you, Brianna, if you're watching this. Um, you are the sweetest person ever. But the car ride back was also a little rough. Um, I do get car sick and I had ours I do get car sick and I was already sick from everything else. Um so that was an interesting car ride. Um <laughs> but we made it back. Um uh, it was great and then basically went straight upstairs and took a nap. Um by the time I got home I think some of the lidocaine was wearing off. Um, so it wasn't completely numb anymore, but it doesn't really hurt at all. It still doesn't really hurt. I would just say it's stiff, um, if that makes any sense. Um, it just feels like I have total range of movement and everything, um, but it does just feel kind of tight and stiff, um, but not in a painful way, so it's really not bad at all right now, which I am really thankful for because I know some people do you have um, issues with pain after port placement? Yeah, I'll let y'all know how I'm doing tomorrow. Keep you updated, what's going on. Uh, but yeah, it actually went really well besides a little bit of medications and blood sugar issues, but that's kind of to be expected. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Um, it is the next morning. Um, <laughs> I slept pretty well, no issues. Um, what should I update you on? Oh, how it feels. Um, still really doesn't hurt at all. Um, I got, ha I have, <laughs> I have kind of like pinching sensation. I don't know. It doesn't really hurt that much though. I, I can still move all around. 
easy. It just feels, again, kind of tight and stiff. And then right on the skin, it just kind of feels like someone pinched. It's really not bad at all. Um, but I guess I'll like show you what it looks like. Um, so that's the first incision that they used to like thread it from the port up over my collarbone and into my heart. <laughs> so that's the first. It's, this one's a little bitty. Um, and then that's the second one. That's like pretty tender to the touch, so um, <laughs> I don't really want to touch that. Um, and then right there is, um, it's a little lower than I was um, thinking it would be. <laughs> But again, it's really not bad. Um, I can't really tell if it's bruising or not. Doesn't look like it. But that is the morning after. Still feeling good. Um, so yeah, I hope it stays like this. Gets better. It's a little itchy because I use Tegaderm and I am allergic to that. Um, but. I don't feel comfortable changing it myself because that is sterile and I don't want to mess with that. I'd rather be itchy. <laughs> so, um, if anything changes, I will update you today. If not, I will see you all tomorrow I'll tell you what it's like. Alright everybody, it is Sunday the next day. Um, yeah, about the same. Um, don't have that same pinching sensation though. Not sore at all. Um, went to church, it was fun. Um, it's still there, I promise. The only thing that's new today, well, I guess it kind of started yesterday, it was I'm allergic to Tegaderm and that's the dressing that they decided to use. So definitely having a little bit of a reaction to it, um, but hopefully it will get changed out um, in a couple days. So it should be fine. Um, I already have dressings that I know I don't react to. Um, so it should be good to go. <laughs> Hi, so this is voiceover arena. I pressed the wrong button on my camera and um, I didn't record any audio for this clip. Anyways, this is me just explaining that I did successfully, semi-successfully shower for the first time with my port. Um, I accidentally taped over the Tegaderm and I had a piece of tape stuck to it, but it wasn't really a big deal. I was just freaking out because I freak out, you know, it's normal. Um, but it was successful. My hair is all clean and squeaky looking. So fun. Um, but yeah, showering with the port can be a little bit tricky. Um, but over the last few weeks, I've kind of figured out a good method. So if you would like a video on my updated tips and tricks to showering and all things port, um, let me know in the comments. Um, and I can definitely put that together for you. All right. Hey, it has been a month since I got my port currently accessed, running fluids, going well. Um, I just wanted to give you an update, um, one month post-op, I guess. I don't know, it didn't even feel like surgery, so it feels weird saying post-op. Um, anyways, um, I still have not really had any like pain or anything with it. The placement itself was super easy. Um, the only two issues I would say is, just with my skin, like, not healing super well at the incision sites, um, which is kind of typical for something like EDS um, and then just like had a few issues with like a little bit of clotting um, but that's not usual. Um, I doubt that you will have that if you are getting a port placed um, so don't worry about that too much um, just keep an eye out. Um, and so yeah it's honestly been such a great help compared to my pick line I can de-access and shower all of that um, and honestly I'm really glad that I got a port um, compared to any other lines um, so if you're getting a port that is the experience of it it's really not too bad so you got this you're gonna do great um, and yeah so thank you for watching um, subscribe if you want to see more and yeah I'll see you next time bye <laughs>